Well, Su Jir Yong was a very well-known legal scholar. He developed quite a following on social media, particularly Weibo, China's version of Twitter. And he's been accused of gathering small crowds approximately five times in 2012 in order to uh, encourage Chinese leaders to disclose their assets under a very loose movement called the New Citizens Movement. Uh, because of this, uh, Mr. Su was arrested and he was charged. Uh, all along, his lawyer and Mr. Su said, that they thought that he would be found guilty. The surprise today was that he wasn't given the maximum sentence of five years uh, for gathering public crowds. Instead, Mr. Su will now spend the next four years in prison. And uh, as I mentioned uh, in the introduction, that he's just one of a number of uh, uh, human rights activists to be on a trial. What news of the others? Uh, well, numbers vary. Uh, some say that dozens have been arrested in connection with Mr. Su's movement. Uh, the, 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 the key with uh, the New Citizens Movement and other related movements is that they've tried very hard not to have any particular leaders. Now, Mr. Su, of course, is a very well-known figure in China, and he's said to be the founder of this New Citizens Movement. But there are many activists across China who've been facing increasing uh, pressure. Many have been arrested. And yes, many are going on trial uh, in the... In, Many have gone on trial in the past week uh, between seven and nine, depending on how closely you uh, link them to Mr. Sue.